Now we're ready to look at how fractions play into formulas. We know with formulas, we can solve them just like we solve any other equation, just treating all the other variables like numbers. So we should see the same pattern with fractions, and in fact, we do. In the past, when we've seen fractions when solving equations, we cleared them by multiplying by the LCD. And just the same with fractions and formulas, we clear fractions again by multiplying by the least common denominator. So let's take a look at some problems and do just that. In this first example here, you'll notice we're solving for x. These guys down here. Well, the first thing we notice is they're in fractions, and we need to identify the least common denominator. The only denominator in this problem is the x. And so we'll multiply each term on both sides by x. So when the x's divide out, we're left with 5 plus 4ax equals the x's dividing out b. And again, we have a two-step equation, which we can solve by first getting rid of whatever's added or subtracted to x, and then dividing. In this case, the 5 is added to the part with x, and so we'll subtract 5 from both sides. This gives us 4ax equals they're not like terms, so we write b minus 5. Now, to get the x alone, we just divide by whatever it's multiplied by. The x is multiplied by 4a, and so we divide both sides by 4a to get the x alone, equal to the fraction b minus 5 over 4a. Following the same exact problem, process, we're multiplying by the LCD, treating all other variables like numbers. In the second example, this is the formula for the equation of a trapezoid, we're asked to solve for b1. Often with formulas, we have subscripts, and that just tells us that there are two different b's in this equation. We're solving for b1. We want b2 on the other side. Well, again, we've got to clear the fractions by identifying the least common denominator. In this case, we see the denominator of 2. And so we'll multiply each term. Remember, terms are separated by adding and subtracting on both sides of the equation by 2. When we do, the 2's divide out, and we're left with 2a equals hb1 plus hb2. We're solving for the b1, so we want to get rid of whatever's added or subtracted to the b1. In this case, hb2 is, so we'll subtract hb2 from both sides. Again, not like terms, so we have 2a minus hb2 is equal to the hb1. Finally, to get the b1 alone, we divide by what it's multiplied by, the h on both sides. The b1 is now alone, and it's equal to 2a minus hb2 all over h. Again, I want to be careful not to reduce out the h's. Because there's subtraction in the problem, we cannot do any reducing. This is our final solution. We solve fractions and formulas by multiplying by the LCD to get rid of the fraction.